Hello and welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. Welcome to this week's episode of The Contented Narrative. We're looking at The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. Um, now this was recommended to me by my dad. He asked me to do this for the channel. Sorry it's taken me so long to get to. As, you, as everyone's well aware I do film things way in advance um, and I am reading a lot of books. In fact for my birthday back in March um, I think I ended up with 13 new books and loads of book tokens to buy loads more books. So I do work through them and I do eventually get to them. So when people do recommend me books I do eventually get to them I promise. So this book it has a good sort of premise. It's got a good hook to it. It's about a sanatorium in the Swiss Alps that has been turned into a hotel <clears throat> and you have the main lady um she is being called to see her um, so detective ellen warner has called in because her brother's getting married and the engagement party is at this sanatorium and i was like okay this is you know i like i like things that in creepy buildings and everything like that i'm quite intrigued by it and it wasn't a bad book it had elements that it was it was good but I just I couldn't I, I couldn't like the main character I don't know why but Ellen Warner genuinely I was sort of sat there going oh I mean I should be sympathetic and everything but I'm really not or oh she's done right okay I read I hope she's okay but I just couldn't get behind the main character and I think that took away from the story a lot for me um it's also sort of like so obviously you know people start dying so it's it, literally the hook is you won't you won't want to leave until you can't um and it's it's got it's got good murders in it i mean <laughs> i love how i'm like yeah great murders love the murders it's got good murders in it um but i mean at one point she accuses literally every single person of murder like every single she's like right well you're the murderer well you're the murderer well you're the murderer no proof literally no proof to anything and she's an ex-detective and she's like yep everyone's the murderer you're a murderer you're a murderer and i'm like come on now detective but i just didn't care for her i just like i literally was just like well you know at one point this is not spoiling it but she ends up in some sort of danger and i'm like well if she survives she survives whereas normally with main characters i'm like oh my god please don't die like i really hope you survive like i'm sat here rooting for you but she was like i was like i'm not i'm not interested and it's a shame because the premise is really good the murders are really good the, the setting is really good and it might just be me it might just be me that doesn't like the main character um and I mean, it ended all right. I was just kind of sat there feeling a little bit deflated when it did end, when I was just kind of like, oh, so that's how it ends then. Um, and it's a shame because, I mean, as I said, it wasn't a, hor a horrific book, um, you know, and I probably would reread it because the premise and everything was quite good. I just feel like the main character just wasn't as well written and as well rounded and she was supposed to have issues and but the way that it was sort of described and the, the, well that's just how I felt I was like reading it going I just don't care if she's scared of water I just I don't know like I just don't care um and the whole subplot of her like brother died like her little brother dying when they were really really young um and she wants to confront her her other brother about it because she thinks her other brother killed her little brother I'm like that was not needed at all that whole little subplot was not needed at all and it's not a spoiler that because it literally is just sort of mentioned continuously through the book so I'm not going to tell you how it resolves but genuinely I'm like that's not <laughs> it wasn't needed it there was no need for it and it probably could have cut down the book a little bit if you removed it there was you know I just don't understand why it was there um whereas sometimes you read a book in the subplot and you're like oh this is a really good subplot it's like a book within a book and I love it like Magpie Murders when I reviewed that loved it absolutely loved it but I mean, I'd give it a go. Let everyone sort of form their own form their own opinion of it. If you agree or disagree with anything that I say, please do leave it below in the comments. Uh, for me, this probably gets a three out of five. I'd reread it, but I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Um, but obviously, thank you for continued support. If you click subscribe as well, you'll be alerted whenever a new video comes out. Uh, thank you so much for continuously watching my videos. Please leave below in the comments as well if you've bought any books on my recommendations or if you enjoyed any books on my recommendations. And as I normally say, obviously, if you want me to review a book, please do leave it below in the comments. I promise I do add them to my to read list. I do end up getting them and I do read them. It's just a little bit longer than I, than I would hope. Um, but thank you so much, guys. And remember to always keep it contento.